He was one of the most prolific and certainly one of the most stylish to batsmen in a golden age of West Indies cricket. His average of 47.6 places him 10th on the all-time list of West Indians who played 15 or more test matches. Yet, Seymour Nurse had to wait until he was into his 30s before he could reveal his true potential. After making his debut against England in 1960, already age 26, he was confined to five tests over the next five years, in which he managed just two half centuries at the modest average of 34.33. In the next five years, under the encouragement of new captain Gary Sobers, he played in all but one of the West Indies' 30 tests and reeled off two doubles, four singles and ten half centuries at 51.48 runs and in innings. Suddenly, just when he seemed to be at his best and getting better, a combination of factors prompted him to retire from international cricket at the age of 35. It was a shock, for he signed off in his final innings with his highest test score, 258 against New Zealand at Christchurch in 1969. It is generally felt that, somehow, Nurse has never been given his full due as a batsman, but certainly not by Sobers, one of his greatest fans. 